on the 4th of July 1946 in front of a crowd of around 20,000 people on a huge gallows. The former guards of Sturthof concentration camp were executed. The gallows were so big that everyone around could see and amongst the condemned were a number of women who were considered evil. These were former guards of Sturthof, a camp where around 65,000 people were slaughtered during the Second World War. It became one of the deadliest concentration camps, and the conditions there were shocking and terrible, and the violence of the guards that worked there was horrific. But one woman and female guard who was brought to trial, but was not condemned to death, was Erna Beilhart, a woman who could have been taken to the gallows, but following her training, she had a realisation as to the evil that was being committed inside of Sturthof. Because of this, she remains the only example of an SS female guard who refused to serve at Sturthof despite being given the training to do so. Erna Beilhart's story is one which is interesting, but what is the story of the female concentration camp guard of Sturthof that refused to execute and torture? To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Erna Beilhart was born on the 7th of February 1907, and she was born near to Danzig, the city where Sturthof was found. Her father died when she was just a young girl, but her mother was well connected as she was descended from a well-known family of Swiss cheesemakers. Her mother cared for her family on her own, but finances were an issue for the family, even as the First World War came to an end. Erna Beilhart had graduated from school, but she then went to East Prussia and she found work in farming. But in 1927 at the age of 20, Erna moved to Danzig and she lived in a house with her sister and her mother and her mother then opened up a dairy warehouse there. But following the move to the city, Erna Beilhart went back to school and she then worked as a housekeeper in an apartment. But during this time she also helped her family run their stores, but also became involved in the German Red Cross. But strangely, Erna Beilhart then joined the Nazi party in 1933. This was the same year that Hitler became Chancellor, and then began to tighten his grip over the German nation. But Erna did this as she thought it would be a way that she could progress her career, but she was attracted to the politics of the Nazi party, like so many people were. The levels of her devotion to the Nazi cause are questionable, but as the Second World War erupted around Europe, she would undertake further medical training, then join the NSV, which was the welfare programme established by the Nazis. At this point she got to work with children who had been made orphans by the war, and Beilhart found this work rewarding. However, at some point she was then recommended to go and find work inside of Sturthof concentration camp, which was nearby. It's not known who recommended her for this line of work, but it could have been a Nazi official or one of her colleagues. They would have recommended her for service as a female guard, as at the time there was a call for women to go and work inside of concentration camps around the Gdansk region. The SS were looking for local women to serve, and with this a number of women would go and work inside of the camp. Sturthof as a site was known for being brutal, and it was established following the outbreak of the Second World War, and many Nazi officials began to arrest and send Polish prisoners there. It began life as a civil internment camp, before it operated years later as a concentration camp. Sturthof expanded to a huge scale, and the expansion was so big that many female guards were needed to come and work. Some of these would later be executed for their crimes. There was a huge number of prisoners who were sent to Sturthof, and many came from countries all around Europe. But the conditions of the camp were very harsh, and dozens of thousands of prisoners died from starvation and disease. Typhus epidemics swept through the camp in different years, and those prisoners deemed too sick to work would be sent to the small gas chamber that was found in Sturthof. Executions were carried out in different ways, Many were shot on firing ranges, and gassings also took place. But gallows could also be found, and prisoners would then be hanged at roll call for breaking rules, and this would terrorise the inmates. But inside of the infirmary, there were many other nurses who would slaughter, injecting patients with phenol injections to the heart. But when Erna Beilhart arrived at Sturthof, despite being from a medical background, she would then train as an auxiliary guard. She stayed at the central Sturthof site from the 18th of September 1944 until the 11th of October 1944, and she would then attend a training programme to become an overseer for six weeks. Following this, she was then moved to a subcamp. But as many other female overseers developed reputations for being brutal and evil, 
Anna Beilhart's time as a concentration camp guard was rather strange and different. She would complete the regular duties expected of a supervisor, for example taking roll call and directing prisoners to work and encouraging them to be productive. But she would not at this time violently beat or kill any prisoners. It's known that she did not do this, and whilst at Stutthof she became rather disgusted and disturbed in watching the antics of other SS guards and female overseers. She saw them kill and abuse with their bare hands, and because of this, Erna Beilhart then decided to resign from her position. But on the 20th of January 1945, she would accompany an evacuation of prisoners to Königsberg, but then she would go back into the Red Cross and she would nurse German injured soldiers. However, her brief work inside of Stutthof would come back to haunt her. On the 14th of July 1945, Beilhart was arrested by the Soviet soldiers, and following investigation, she would then be brought to the first Stutthof trial. These took place between the 25th of April and the 31st of May 1946. She was accused of mistreating concentration camp prisoners, but what shocked the courtroom was that she was only able to speak openly about her support for Hitler and the Nazis, but she would then claim that the work what was happening inside of the concentration camps was wrong and would turn her stomach. She said, I like the idea of our leader, as in Hitler, that the whole world would apply to us, that we would stand victorious over other countries. I have been in the Nazi party since 1933. But then she also said, I did not like this work very much because they tormented people too much, which I couldn't look at. She told the courtroom that she voluntarily resigned from her position and that she did not like watching the others slaughter prisoners with their bare hands. But there were no witnesses that testified that Erna Beilhart had killed or attacked prisoners and because of this she was not sentenced to death for crimes against humanity. If she had been found guilty of crimes against humanity then she would have been executed alongside the other guards of Sturthoff but instead she would be tried and convicted of other crimes that included being a member of the Nazi party and also the SS. This made her the only SS female guard from Stutthof to be convicted by a Polish court and who avoided execution. Because of this she was held in a Polish prison for some time and she completed her sentence in May 1951 after she received five years imprisonment. But she was then released on the 21st of December 1951 and she would live until 1999 when she died at the age of around 91 or 92. Erna Beilhart was a guard who troubled the Polish authorities after the war. She was a woman who was honest in her devotions to Hitler and the Nazi party, and she would praise them during her trial. However, she was a woman who deemed the evils of the concentration camps to be too far, and she did not want to participate in the brutality of the camps. She would not be executed on the gallows like the other female guards of Sturthof were, but she was sentenced to a number of years' imprisonment. The sight of the other female guards who were taken to the gallows would for those who witnessed the executions of the guards of Stutthof be justifications for the evil that occurred at the camp. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.